What's up everyone? I'm Female Otaku and I'm here to review episode 8 of Charlotte. And if you didn't know, I was able to upload my Durara review with no problem. It's in HD, so who knows? Maybe the next 10 days will go out perfectly. <sighs> but you know, it's still not guaranteed for I am still on vacation. I am trying to have fun. Anyway, so this episode of Charlotte's touched me. It really did. It really did. With Charlotte today, what touched me the most was probably with the scene with the brother, okay? You see, whenever I see Nao's brother, um, I called him Nao, that's weird. I always call her Tomori. When you see, when I saw Tomori's brother, whenever I see him play, you know, play and stuff, it always pains me to see that. I get, I like, I have to look away from the screen a little bit and stuff. It makes me very uncomfortable. And it's hard for an anime to make me feel uncomfortable and things like that, okay? It's hard for any show or, or movie to make me feel uncomfortable, all right? And so seeing the lead singer of that band sing to him and stuff, and then he actually started to remember his sister, I, I was touched. But then I got even more touched. Like, I couldn't believe was when you, our main character, he started tearing up. He was tearing up over someone else, not related to him whatsoever, barely knows the guy. And he teared up. He was overjoyed and the lead singer could tell too. She was like, I can tell you're happy from the bottom of your heart. And I was like, what a change in Yu's character. From him being such a jerk <laughs> and a villain from episode one to him starting to become a boring character between the middle of the series and then we have to where he was all going through the stages of grief last week and now we see him crying overjoyed tears over someone else who he barely knows bravo on the character development Bravo, Charlotte. <laughs> Very good. I'm so happy what they did with Yu's character. And I can't wait to see how his little date with Tomori goes next week. Now, I want to talk about Tomori for a little bit. I've talked about this before. Her attitude towards certain things. Tomori's personality is very strange. She kind of flip-flops all over the place, really. At times, she'll be really cute. At times, she'll be like, you're such a turn-off, oh my gosh. And other times, she'll just treat things like nothing. It's hard to explain. You see, with two things today, with today's episode, we have to where we have the lead singer of the band, all right? And you calls her, um, calls Tomori up and is all like, hey, you got the lead singer, you want to meet her? Because, you know, same thing happened with Yusudin and his little sister, okay? And, you know, his little sister was overjoyed seeing Yusudin. So he thought, you know, the same thing would happen with Tomori. But Tomori was all like, I just listen to their music, buy their CDs, that's it. She doesn't really care about the people behind the voice, so it was like, okay. But then when it came to her brother strange really it really is he suggested of bringing the singer over to meet Tomori's brother and Tomori was just still like well it's not a zero percent chance but you can try she has this attitude towards certain situations like I said where she treats it like it's no big deal it's nothing it doesn't matter I want to get to know Tomori a little more, okay? Because her personality is just all over the place, alright? I think we need a good Tomori episode. Besides, I still want an explanation on why those girls beat her up a couple episodes back, okay? I still want an explanation. Alright, that's all I have to say for today's episode of Charlotte. So, catch me tomorrow as I review God Eater and, oh, wait a minute. I heard that God Eater wasn't going to have an episode tomorrow. <laughs> Bravo, you photoball. Anyway, instead of catching tomorrow as I review Gangsta. Hopefully. Depends how busy I am. I'm your female otaku. Sayonara.